Hi, BIF family. I uh, hope you're having a good week. And I trust also that you are growing in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because it truly is always all about Jesus. That's what our, our whole lives are to be. Uh, a sum total is, is Jesus in his glory and his honor. Hey, I, I wanted to give you a little bit more of a heads up this week about our worship gathering. Uh, you heard Neil say in the announcements uh, last week and then in the rolling announcements at the end, we, we told you that there will be a, a live worship gathering this week on Zoom. And so we want you to be looking forward to that um, email on Saturday that will give you the, the link to that Zoom room. Uh, I'll also give you a passcode and some other things to get involved with that so that you can participate. Uh, don't want you to just sit back and watch. We want you to participate in our, our uh, Zoom worship gathering this week and uh, be a part of that. Hey, thank you so much for those of you who have gave us some input as to the last time that we, uh, which was the first time that we did a, a Zoom worship gathering. Uh, your input has really helped us. It's refined a lot of things uh, that we are working towards this weekend. And I uh, wanted to give you some heads up on that. We have a, a worship team that's going to be leading us in our musical worship. Chris is leading that. And uh, we're trying to refine some of the, 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 the sound issues that we had last week, uh, or a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, but also, um, you know, uh, the, the issue of the breakout rooms came up, and it was kind of a love-hate relationship. A lot of people really loved them, and a lot of people said, boy, I, that, that was really uncomfortable. But we're trying to, to work those things out. But, but this week, there will not be any uh, formalized uh, breakout rooms, because we're going to dedicate that time to uh, the celebration of our Lord's Communion. Uh, and so that's something else that we want you to prepare for, preparing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit uh, to participate and to uh, partake of the, the elements of the, the cup and the bread um, during that closing of our, our worship gathering time together. We're, we're also looking at some ways because some of you said it would, would, have, would have been really nice to be able to connect with some people. I saw their pictures, but I wasn't able to really talk to them. So we're going to we're trying to work out a a system for you to be able to connect with people that you'd like to catch up with as well on that. Hey, and another thing, if if uh, you're new to BIF, if uh, you've never been to an in-person gathering, uh, we know that there are several people that have moved into Baku over the last few months. Um, when it comes time at the beginning, Neil is going to ask people who are new to introduce themselves and uh, just be a great opportunity for you to tell us who you are, where you're from, and um, let us uh, welcome you. Uh, to uh, our fellowship here in uh, Baku. Uh, speaking of in-person gatherings, I also want to give you a, a little update as to what we're thinking about uh, for the future of our meeting together. Well, I told you in our uh, last live worship gathering on Zoom that uh, the possibility existed that we would be able to uh, have uh, a worship service on April 4th. That's if the government... Uh, uh, releases uh, large groups, allows large groups to begin meeting uh, the beginning of April. Uh, there's a possibility of that. We, we don't know, and we may not know until the very last minute if that's going to work out. But we want you to know that we are making plans and preparations um, just in case that does come together. Um, there's a couple of things that you need to know, and we'll, we'll keep reminding you about these things as uh, the time grows closer. But number one, there probably will not be a uh, an unlimited number of people allowed in the room. We'll probably have a, a limited number of people who can gather together in one room. And so uh, we're setting up a system of registration. You'll, you'll need to register uh, and get a, an email from us that says, yes, you can come to this particular service um, that Sunday because uh, we will not be allowed to have the, the, the room filled with 300 people. We'll have to have a, a segmented kind of thing. And in fact, we're actually preparing now for two different worship services. And if we need a third, we'll do that. Uh, but, but keep that in mind and, and know that, uh, you know, we're, we're doing this for your safety and for your health. Uh, and to abide by the, the, the regulations of the government that uh, gives us the blessing to, to meet here. Um, also, keep in mind that there will be masks that will be required, and we'll have some kind of social distancing requirements as well. That'll be part and parcel of life for uh, the, the, the foreseeable future, uh, not only here in Baku, but around the world. Um, we don't think that there will be uh, staffing for Children's Church initially. We hope they'll be able to, to work back into that, but, uh, but be prepared to have your children with you. Uh, we will work uh, to try to have staff that can take care of babies and preschoolers uh, during that time, but um, 
that's just to kind of give you a little more heads up on, on those things. Um, always keep in mind, our number one reason for being, our number one passion is that we might grow in our love for God and for one another. And in growing for our love, growing in our love for one another, uh, it entails working for the other person's safety, working for the other person's health, uh, sometimes giving up some of what we would like uh, in order to ensure that uh, health and safety of others is, is involved. So uh, thank you for your help and your cooperation and your prayers as we look forward to uh, that day when we will be able to, to meet together as a, a fellowship. Hey, the message this week, uh, we're going to continue that series on uh, soaring, living above yourself. We're going on to the next few verses in uh, verses 14 to 17 of uh, Romans chapter 8. Now we're going to talk about our eternal identification, EID as I call it in the message. Uh, you know, our, our self-perception uh, really is a, a huge factor in how, we are, how well we are able to soar for the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, this passage of Scripture tells us who we are, who God sees us as. And it is something that it's, gives us great courage and, and faith and, and boldness uh, to soar as Christ has called us to soar. So uh, be prepared. Uh, be prepared to soar this week. Uh, look at the God's Word. Look at that Romans 8 passage, uh, verses uh, 14 to 17. And then uh, turn a couple pages back to 1 John chapter 3. Uh, the first 10 verses uh, really speak into this situation, but John is, is passionate about this idea of us being the children of God. And um, he shows us some of the practical outworkings of being God's children. And so uh, come to uh, BIF Worship Gathering on Zoom this week uh, as, a, as a child of the Heavenly King, one who is filled with the, the wonderful sense of God's love and care. And, and as we come together, let's just cry out, Abba Father, our Daddy Father, in His love, and let His love just wash over us and, and abound in our hearts and our lives. Uh, have a great rest of the week. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you uh, Sunday morning on our worship gathering.